Hi guys, it is Friday, September 4th. I can't believe it's September already. It still feels like it's August though. It's still hot out and in the 80s, but we're getting closer to fall and I'm getting excited. Anyway, I just got finished with work and it's Labor Day weekend, so I have Monday off, which I'm excited about, but I'm about to go to Home Goods by myself. <laughs> I haven't been shopping just for fun because you know coronavirus and everything um so i've really just been getting my groceries delivered and i really only go to target like to get toilet paper and paper towels because they won't um do those for curbside so i've been going into target to get those but other than that i haven't been shopping at all since coronavirus started so i kind of miss it and i actually kind of just miss going shopping by myself i feel like it's kind of therapeutic in a way um so i'm only gonna go to home goods and um i figured they might have some of their fall stuff there now so i can look at that and yeah just get excited for fall I'm not going to decorate yet because I do realize it's too early to decorate for fall yet. Maybe next weekend, but I'm definitely thinking about it. Definitely contemplating it. <laughs> but I won't. I won't do it until at least next weekend. And since we're in a townhome now and we moved, I'm going to have to come up with all new placements for all my decorations. And I might need some more decorations because there's more space to fill. Um, so yeah that's that's what I'm looking for I figured since I'm going in the evening on a Friday maybe it won't be as crowded as it would normally be like on a weekend um, during the day so that's what I'm hoping but if I get there and there's a ton of people there I might end up not going in because I'm still paranoid about going out in public and shopping and being around just other people in general so yeah I don't know if I get there and it's too crowded, I'll just leave, but I'm hoping that it won't be at this time of day. But yeah, that's what I'm about to do. Also, side note, I know I said a couple videos back that I was going to start daily vlogging. Obviously, that did not happen. <laughs> Turns out my life is just too busy to do that. So I figured a new goal that I could do is maybe two videos a week. Maybe I can do like Monday and Wednesday or Monday and Friday. I don't know. Something like that. Instead of doing videos every single day. I just can't do that. It's just too much. <laughs> Let's go to Home Goods. Home Goods, I'm here. I'm on my phone now though, so the video quality is gonna be different. Whoops. Got my mask on and I'm ready to go in. There's my bags. I got a couple of things. I'll show you when I get back. They're all fall related. <laughs> Not surprising. I'm back from Home Goods now and I figured I'd show you what I got. They actually had a good amount of fall stuff there. Um, they didn't really have any fall candles though, which was kind of disappointing. They only had a couple. Um, but they had mostly Halloween stuff. There was some general fall stuff, but most of it was Halloween. And Eloise brought her toy to me. <laughs> Let me just throw this to her. Okay. <laughs> Here's what I got. I got this wreath. It's very um, prickly. <laughs> and like, it kind of hurts when you touch it. But, um, and it's exactly something that Eloise would like to play with and bite. <laughs> Um, but I wanted to put that on my door and I was just thinking that it's probably going to get ruined because I don't have a storm door to kind of cover it so it would be exposed to rain and stuff and I don't know, uh, this, these leaves don't seem like they'd be able to get, get exposed to rain or these pumpkins so I might just end up putting it on like a wall downstairs um, in the living room or in the kitchen, I don't know. I'll figure something out. <laughs> I wanted to put it on my door though, and then when I got back I realized I don't have a storm door. So that might be an issue. I got this garland 
they had a few of these. I was going to get two, but I thought I would probably only need one. Um, I figured I could put this on a wall downstairs in the living room or maybe even in the bedroom. I don't know. I think I might hang it on the wall downstairs. Then I also got this garland, which I thought was really cute. I like the ghosts on it. And this is like a fabric material. And there's pumpkins and bats. Um, they're both six feet long. And I thought I could hang that downstairs too in the living room. And then I got this cute apron. It's like a really nice thick material. Um, and it has a striped top to it. And this cute pattern for Halloween. I like the houses and the pumpkins. Just very festive. I like it. Eloise likes it too. <laughs> but yeah, that's all the things I got from Home Goods. I really restricted myself. <laughs> but um, honestly, I don't think that I really need many things to decorate. The main thing that I wanted more of was were these um, garland pieces because I do have more wall space now here that I figured I could fill up with the garland. I also want to get um, like those garland with the leaves, kind of like this material, the actual leafy material um, <laughs> instead of this fabric. And I wanted to maybe hang those above the door or hang them on not hang them but set them on like the tv stand or on that credenza we have downstairs and then i figured i could get some lights to go with the leaf garland i don't know i think that would look nice but yeah just coming up with things in my head because usually at our other apartment we had a um a fireplace and we had one at our previous apartment before that too so that's kind of what i would center all my decorations around but here we don't have a fireplace which is kind of disappointing because i love the fireplace especially when um it gets really cold out so i don't have a fireplace which is kind of disappointing because i liked to put all my decorations on there and kind of make that the focal point but I don't have that here so I'm gonna have to get creative in where I'll put all my stuff but that's for another day I'm just trying to like plan it in my head what are you doing Eloise? Hmm? hi guys it is Saturday now and Ben and I are at a park we're just walking along a trail it's pretty nice outside it's not too hot a little breezy but yeah we're just walking around the trail and then i think we're gonna go get something to eat afterwards here's what we're looking at a bridge and some water that's a nice view any fish in there I don't see any. just built well they had an original big side that they had when I was little but then they upgraded it to a new big side but then almost immediately they had to close it down because I think people were like getting injured on it when they um, like flew off the end of it so I think they're in the process of fixing it right now so it's closed but I wanted to see it anyway see what all the hoopla is about and if it lives up to the original did you ever ride the original as a kid? Mm -hmm. Did you use wax paper on it or no wax paper? We used wax paper. I think I tried it with wax paper once and it was like way too fast that I hurt, like ended up hurting myself. <laughs> like um, I got a brush burn. So 
after that I didn't use wax paper again. I wonder if people use wax paper on this one too and maybe that's why they were flying off. I don't know. Let's go check it out though. There it is. Caution tape around it. Can't go in. <laughs> have this path leading down, I guess, to the bottom of it. There's the new sign. I wonder if it says anything about wax paper. The old sign used to, yeah. Avoid the use of slide enhancement materials such as wax paper. That's what the old one said too, but people always used it. There's one slide. That's not the big one though. The big one's over there. There it is. There's two slides. Hi guys! It is Sunday now. I didn't film anything the rest of the day yesterday, but I'll just give you a rundown of what happened. It wasn't great. <laughs> so Ben and I originally went to the restaurant I wanted to go to, but because we're at reduced capacity now because of Corona, um, they didn't have room for us there so then we went to another restaurant and we got seated there but then we <laughs> ordered our food and I was really in the mood for a hamburger so I ordered what I thought was a hamburger and then it came and I was like this doesn't look like it's red meat it looks like it's chicken or something and Ben was like yeah you ordered a veggie burger and I was like what? No, I didn't. <laughs> he was like, yeah, garden burger is a veggie burger. And I was like, I didn't know that. <laughs> I thought it was just called a garden burger because they had like vegetables on top of it. But no, I accidentally ordered a veggie burger. And I was so surprised that Ben didn't even say anything about it. Like I've never ordered anything vegetarian in my life. <laughs> and he's just sitting on the other end of the table like, yep, yeah, she's just getting a veggie burger today. She's never done it before in her life, but I guess she's had a change of heart today. <laughs> so yeah, I was really disappointed um, that I got a veggie burger. So while it wasn't horrible, I did not enjoy it. <laughs> and it really was not like a normal burger, which is what I really wanted. Anyway, so I was disappointed about that. And then Ben and I came back home and my new TV stand that I ordered from Wayfair had arrived, which was surprising because I thought it was going to be here next week. So Ben put that together, which took a while, um, but we got it done. And yeah, that's basically what happened the rest of the day yesterday. And now today, I'm going to go to Costco with my mom and maybe to Yankee Candle. I've never been to Costco before in my life. But since coronavirus has happened, I usually go to Target to get all of my like home essentials, like toilet paper and stuff like that. But ever since coronavirus, when I go to Target to get my stuff, they don't have anything. Like they don't have any of my cleaning things or my toilet paper or paper towels. And my sister told me that she always is able to find those things at Sam's Club. I thought I would get a Costco membership because I figured if it's that way at Sam's Club, it's probably the same way at Costco. So I got a Costco membership so that I'm able to get my essential things and just to, you know, check it out because it seems cool. So anyway, I'm going there for the first time today with my mom and then maybe we're going to go to Yankee Candle too because I have a coupon for there and I want to get my pumpkin spice candles and yeah, that's what's going to happen today. So let's go. By the way, this is the new TV stand we got. I got it off of Wayfair. I really like it, I think it looks cute. And I wanted to mount the TV above it because I wanted to put decorations on top of the TV stand. Um, because, like I said earlier, I don't really have anywhere to put my decorations now that I don't have a fireplace. So yeah, that was kind of my reasoning behind all of that. But I really like the TV stand. I'm excited to decorate it and yeah, anyway. Let's get going. My mom and I are at Costco now. Mom just got her mask on. <laughs> and we're going in now. Prepare. Suit it up. <laughs> we're in Costco now. Everything here is ginormous. And I'm a bit overwhelmed. 
so far I have nothing in my cart. My cart is starting to fill up. I got some paper towels, scrubbing bubbles, some croissants. Hi guys, it is Sunday, September 27th, and I am finally decorating for fall slash Halloween. <laughs> what do you mean? Ben's laughing at me and shaking his head. He thinks I'm decorating too early. And you're saying finally, like it's too late. I beg to differ. <laughs> anyway, I'm about to start decorating. Um, I have a couple of things up already that I put up last weekend. First of all, Ben just put up that shelf last weekend. It's all blurry now. There we go. And I put those lights on. I usually don't have them on motion. I don't know why they're on motion right now. <laughs> but I'll fix that. Um, I got those leaves off of Amazon. And then I have this garland up. And I have lights on here now, but they're not strung correctly. So I'm going to take them off and do it again. Got my pumpkin spice candle. And then over here, I just have this festive garland going across. I don't know if I'm going to keep that there or not. I do like it, but I don't know what I'm going to do with this space yet. Like I said, it's going to be different this time because I don't have a fireplace and the mantle was usually the centerpiece of the decorations and now it's all different and it's stressing me out and I'm scared I'm not going to like whatever arrangement I have here. With my shelf, that gives me some room to put things on. Then we have the new TV stand and the TV is mounted on the wall so I can put things up here. And then obviously over here I can put things. So I do have space, I'm gonna make it work. So yeah, let's get started. let's get started I'm gonna do the easiest thing first which is arrange the pillows on here this one I think I'm gonna put on the couch or maybe that one I don't know I'll figure it out but I have the pillows back here that I'm gonna put away and put my pillows for Halloween on there on my bench let's get started There we go. I like how the Hocus Pocus pillow looks there better um, because it's bigger and takes up more space. I got the orange pillow over there at Pier 1. I got the middle pillow at Michael's. And I got the checkered pillow. I think I also got that at Pier 1 last year. So, first area is done. Oh, there's a pug. It's a stink bug. Now I'm gonna go through all my boxes, I only have two of them, and just unload everything and kind of decide where I'm gonna put it all. Let's do that. I think there's a video game behind me right now. Just ignore that. And look at the festive leaves instead. <laughs> There's all my Halloween stuff and Eloise. <laughs> Hi, Eloise. Hi. <laughs> I have a lot of stuff. I don't think I'm gonna be using all of it because I don't think I'll have enough space, but I'm gonna try. towels they're wrinkly and that's gonna annoy me so I'm going to probably wash them <laughs> but um, they're all from home goods I got them last year you can't really see because it's too dark but they have like this 
frill on the bottom, which I like. So there we go. I have some extra cups that won't fit. Maybe I'll get another rack. I like them all though, so I want to display them all. Yeah, I got that rack on Amazon. So maybe I'll just get another one so I can have one on this corner and one on that corner. But here's all my mugs. They're my favorite thing. All of them, most of them are from Home Goods. This one's from Home Goods, so is this one. And this one I think is from Crate and Barrel. This one's from Home Goods. This one I got on eBay, I think. Because I really liked it and I found it on eBay. <laughs> Um, but you can get these types of mugs at Home Goods. This I got at Home Goods. This I got at Home Goods. This I got at Home Goods. <laughs> and then this one back here, you can't really see it. But I got it at Home Goods. Here's what the situation is over here. That garland I got at Joanne Fabrics, it was kind of unwieldy. You can bend it and move it and stuff, but it's a little bit unwieldy and a little bit annoying to deal with. But I got it situated. And then on top of that, I have orange like um, fairy lights that are battery operated. I don't remember where I got those, but probably Target. Then this I got from Target a couple of years ago. Same with this. This, I don't know what this is. It's just a jar. I don't remember where I got it. <laughs> and the candy corn in it is from last year. So it's nice and stale, but I don't like candy corn anyway. So it'll probably stay there until next year too. And then this ghost succulent is from Target. It's fake. But yeah, that is this area. Let me show you around. First of all, we have this area over here with my banner, my garland, and my mugs. Over here we have the pillows on the bench with the garland in the back. I put up this sign in the kitchen area. Then I also put up that leaf garland over there. And these little fixtures over here. I put this sign up in the kitchen. This is more Thanksgiving-y, but I thought it looked nice on the green wall. Then I have my tea towels over here. Garland up there. And here's the view of the living room. Ellie's sitting right there. I put that garland up there with my curtain. That garland is from Michaels, and I strung the lights on them. They're battery operated. Those I got online at Target. Then over here is my TV stand. I'm sitting down on the couch now. And those pumpkins on the bottom are from Hallmark. Ben's mom gave those to me. Um, the TV stand is from Wayfair. The garland again is from Michaels with the Target lights. Um, and then I have just some little fixtures over here. I have my Yankee Candle, pumpkin spice. This I think I got at either Michaels or Pacatans. It's supposed to light up, but I don't have another battery for that, so I'll have to get that. But it's a little acorn. And then over here, I just have another two pumpkins. Then on my shelf, I put my leaf garland from Amazon. This is from Target. I think that's from Michaels. 
This is from Home Goods. That's from Home Goods, and the pumpkin is from Target. So there's my shelf. Then over here is the couch. The plaid pillows are from Home Goods, and then the pillow in the middle is from Michaels. And then over here, I just have a couple little things. These are coasters I got from Bed Bath and Beyond. Um, then this I got at like a fall festival. These pumpkins are from Target. Got the candy corn at a fall festival too. And then over here is the rest of my decorations. Um, I got that garland up there from Home Goods. And then I think this is from Michaels. This is from Home Goods. Home Goods. That I got at a festival. These lights I got at a small store. Um, that's just local. I don't really know where else you can find them probably Amazon <laughs> but I really like them I like how they move and they're just like a really nice light I like how they're so small too then over here this I got from either Michaels or Pacatans this I think was Michaels Michaels and then this is from Target and there we go that's all my decorations so I'm gonna go to bed now because I'm very tired and I look a little rough looking rough oh you can see all the decorations in the mirror that's cool so festive oh my god all right well I'm gonna go to bed now <laughs> um, my work is done here I'm glad I got my decorations up and now I'm ready for fall I'll see you next time bye